What it is, everybody, it's your boy Mike Rich, man, what's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody having a blessed day to day. Forgive my background because I got some re- tooling going on if you will some 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 box switch around some I got a lot of stuff going on this side I got a lot of stuff going on with my cases but it is what it is I got a white wall background and then I got sneakers on this side so it is what it is man forgive that still got to put this video up the show as they say must go on you feel me anyway <laughs> Uh, today I want to go over my get them or forget them for January 2019. Yes, it is a new year. Uh, I, I think I'm going to do a upcoming rumored and confirmed sneaker list for 2019 because there's a whole bunch of rumors of sneakers dropping and we just don't know if it's going to happen. Years in the past stuff has been rumored. What candy cane 14s it? You feel me? What steel 10s it? You feel me? They ain't nowhere to be found. What flip 13s it? You know what I'm saying? But... <clears throat> So later on, I'll be recording that video so I can show y'all what my opinion is, or tell y'all what my opinion is, rather, of the um, rumor that confirmed sneakers coming out in 2019, man. But let's go ahead and get into January of 2019. Real quick, I'm going to go through a couple of these sneakers. A bunch of Ultra Boost releasing. Ultra Boost 2019 is what they calling them. Not a big fan of Ultra Boost, and these are no different. Look like they just threw a plastic slab on the side instead of the three stripes. It still got three stripes on it, but it's like a whole piece instead of the like stripe down thing. Ultra Boost, not feeling them. <clears throat> They're supposed to be the most comfortable shoe in the world, but when I tried it on, I wasn't impressed. That's your me though. That's in my opinion. Uh, Air Jordan 33 Chinese New Year. Well, I was gonna say forget them. Oh, forget the Ultra Boost. By the way, forget them. Get them out of here. Uh, Chinese New Year or Jordan 33s, I got to see them in hand. My um, my my opinion is still reserved on that one, but for right now, forget them. Get them out of the door. Not feeling the, I'm just not feeling that shoe in that colorway. I have to see it in hand, man. Some some of these sneakers you have to see in hand. You just can't say forget them because you got to see them in hand first, man. Um, Air Jordan 19 Flint 2019 Mellow Trash. Forget them. That's all I got to say. I ain't even got no more words. Never was a fan of that shoe. Get it out of here. Um, so next up, we got the LeBron 3 Super Bron. Wasn't a big fan of the LeBron 3s. Very, very space bootish. Um, the 16 was alright, but I, like I said, at first I was going to get it, but the more I thought about it, the more I was like, bruh. You're not going to wear that shoe. You're just not going to wear it. So uh, forget them on those, but forget them on the Nike Zoom LeBron 3 Super Bron. Just just not a big fan of the silhouette. Never have been. Um, didn't really start liking LeBron's to like the six or the seven. LeBron seven came out, and then I was they was dope from then on. Uh, uh, Jordan, why not zero? Future history. This is the uh, Russell Westbrook. What Ru Russell Westbrook? I always have a problem saying that, man. Um, no, 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 no. Not feeling it. It looked like some Adidas would make. To be honest with you, look like some kind of for real boost you wear type thing going on vibe action bunch of shoes put together in one conglomeration and just if that's a word did some on like those so forget them for the uh westbrook things air okay let's get into something i might like air jordan 6 flint this is a new colorway um it looked like it could have been an og colorway that came out back in the day i don't know what the story is behind that i'm sure jordan brand and nike gonna come up with some kind of story to go with that sneaker but I'm, I mean, for right now, the suede looking kind of buttery, and the uh, leather is looking kind of, kind of, kind of plush, if you will. But um, I gotta see that shoe in hand, man. So for right now, I'm trying. 2019, one of my resolutions: be more selective over the sneakers that I'm copping. So for right now, I give it a tentative. Forget them, man. Get them out of here. For right now, for right now. You know what I'm saying? My, 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 my opinion might change. Um, we got Jordan 33 University Red. This is an all red Jordan 13. I mean 33, I'm sorry. 33, but I don't know. The all red shoe is kind of like, I don't care no more. I mean, just be honest, I don't really care no more. It got a little black hits on it. Um, but let me go ahead and say forget them. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Air Jordan 1 High OG Neutral Gray. It has black and kind of like a grayish suede. It looked like a, a, a vintage kind of destroyed look to it a little bit from this picture anyway and my initial thoughts is forget them like I said I got so many Jordan ones man it's gonna be hard for me to just keep buying these Jordan ones if they ain't Jeff. Bye! 
Let me say that again. If they ain't just thigh, they gotta be fine, man. I got a little energy tonight, man. <clears throat> anyway, on to the next couple of sneakers. They're Air Max 90 Off White Desert. Uh, is it Desert or or Desert or that's the color? And um, Off White Nike Air Max 90 Black. I had a chance to see these two in hand at the uh, sneaker con in Houston. They were dope when I saw them. I like both colorways. Of course, I'm gonna try for both. I like Air Max 90s, and I and I dig the way they did off whites. I like the OG uh, the, from the original 10, the um, uh, the white ones, the uh, Air Max 90 off whites, and these these are dope too. I like both of these colorways. So if I can get any one of them, I'm gonna try. Um, probably can't for retail, but off whites have been slightly. If it's not a Jordan or something like that, it's been going down a little bit. You still gotta spend like five, six, seven hundred dollars on the off white. The Air Force Ones ain't going for that crazy, but you know. I love the I love the brown one. I love the colorway. I love the fact that they hit you with that hyper crimson swoosh or whatever you want to call that color. And then as far and then and I love the little tab that's going off of it. It's not orange like the rest of the shoes. It kind of got like a turquoise or, or light blue color. I think that's dope. And as far as the black ones are concerned, um, the, the vapor mats got a colorway similar to that. A lot of the off white shoes got a colorway similar to that. Similar to that, but it does look dope on that shoe, so I will be trying to cop both of these. Hopefully, I get lucky on at least one pair of those. Y'all can help me out if you want to. It's your boy Rich, man. Uh, anyway, let's go on to the next. Uh, I got a Jordan 2 Black History Month. Don't really have no official pictures of this shoe yet, but I just, it's a Jordan 2, so I'll probably sleep on it, forget them. Oh, get them, by the way, on both of those uh, off whites. But I'll probably forget these Black History Months. Just. Just not big into twos, and unless they do something very creative and super dope and unique with the colorway, it's probably going to definitely be a forget them. Get them on out the door, man. Out the door. That way. Uh, Y'all like I snap my neck back. That way, man. You got you to kind of get a crook going. You feel me? Um, next up is the Air Jordan 4 SE Laser Black Gum Things. You know what they remind me of? They remind me of the Dunk from Above Jordan 4s. Did I say 4? Yeah, Jordan 4s that came out a few years back. That gum bottom and then that laser print. I'm, I'm just, I'm, just, it just ain't for me, man. It just ain't for me, man. I'm looking at it, trying to make myself like it. I love Jordan Fours, but this, this, when we got, when we got uh, breads coming out, like this, this shoe, this shoe gonna, it's gonna go to the outlets. It's gonna be dust tan, shouty. You feel me? Uh, so get them, forget them, get them on out of here. Um, and then next up, the Air Jordan Five. This is the last one too, so I th I don't think we got a lot of release dates up on this, and I know I'm missing out on some because off the top of my head, I know it's a couple of shoes that I supposed to be releasing this month that I just can't think of right now. But the Jordan Five Laney Varsity Royal, <sighs> forget them, forget them. Why they keep saying now in March they say the um the Air Max 97 Off White Mint is gonna come out. But anyway, the Jordan Five Laney. I will go ahead and stick with my lady. I thought it was right here somewhere. No, it's in that far corner right there on one of those boxes. It's not. Yeah, it's way down there. I'm not finna pull it. Anyway, I'm gonna stick with the uh, last Laney, the OG Laney that released with the all white and then the hits of blue and yellow. That sneaker is just a whole lot better than this new one to me. This new one, it just it's an all suede blue shoe, which we got an all suede blue shoe last year. Um, but it has the hits of yellow, and it has 3M tone with the yellow. And what kills it for me is that gray midsole with the, look like a cement kind of pattern, like the little splatter going on. I'm just not feeling that shoe, man. I'm, I'm not feeling it. it. got a 23 on the side, all that good stuff, but I'm just not feeling that shoe. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling that gray. I think that gray just throw the whole shoe off of me. Plus, we just got an all blue suede, um... Jordan, it, it, it mean like a PE or something, but I don't know what JSP mean. I don't know what JSP mean. I'm probably I'm probably being stupid right now. So let me see if it's something else I'm missing, man. Hold on, hold on. Let me go to like Z Sneakerheads or something like that on Instagram. I want to see if I'm missing anything for January. Like I said, I'm still gonna do a 2019 rumor and confirm um, upcoming release video. Um, you got some foam posits, some blue with gum bottom foam posits. Trash, in my humble opinion. Um, okay, here we go. I knew I was forgetting one. The Air Jordan 12 Chinese New Year. And I should have thought of that when I was talking about the 33 Chinese New Year. It wasn't on the release dates uh, while I was just checking. But these look like playoffs with a colorful uh, 
um, liner on the inside and insole, and a couple of hits of gold. Forget them. Forget them. Get them out of here. Forget them. Forget them Laney fives. Forget these Chinese New Year twelves. I'm not copping. If I can hit on sneakers out just to see what they look like in hand, because they might sell out, they might not, I don't know. If I can see what they look like in hand, give you all a review and give you my real opinion in hand, because like I said, a lot of times the um, opinion be different when you see the shoe in hand than when you're looking at it on these pictures online. I will do that, but it look like it seems to have like that satin on the side, man. Ever since they did the fake taxis, aka, uh, was those Chinese New Year 2 or China 12s or whatever? I'm just like, bro, just bring out the OGs. And come to them 12s, just bring out the OG things. I don't see nothing else for January right now, man. I'm not seeing nothing else for January right as of yet. You feel me? So anyway, that's all I'm going to get out today. Yeah, that's it. So I appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about these few little, few little releases that I um mentioned on this video. Uh, what y'all going after for January? Are you slowing down? You caught too many kicks during the holiday season. Now you're trying to slow down. Comment below in the comments and let me know what you're trying to do. Out of all of these shoes, the off-whites, I know that might be hype beastish to y'all, but them the only ones that's really kind of standing out to me that I might want is the off-whites, man. That's it. Let me look again. Let me look. <laughs> They're like, Richard tripping? No, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Nope, that's it. That's it for January. So I'm going to try for the off-whites. You know what? I'm saving so much money in January that if I have to cop the off-whites for more than retail, I might just have to do it because I'm saving money. Like, I usually buy at least three pairs of sneakers a month, and that's on the low end. So since I'm saving that bread, maybe, just maybe, if I can't hit the off-whites for retail, which probably won't happen 90% chance, I'm going to probably try to hit them on StockX or see if one of y'all can look out for me like y'all have before. Anyway, I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. Y'all hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. You feel me? And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Don't. Them hype just kicks. Jordan.